The search for our Italian dream home has brought us to the Valle d'Itria region of Puglia. Absolutely stunning. But today we're going to be taking a U-turn and we're returning to Salento at the heel of the boot to Gagliano del Capo. Gagliano del Capo overlooks the Adriatic with a population of 5,000 inhabitants. It's known for its crystalline water and stunning coastline. Today, I'm going to be giving you even more reasons why Gagliano del Capo, for me, is Puglia's hidden gem. And I just happen to have found two of the most beautiful homes this channel has ever seen. Food, homes, adventure, andiamo. La tua destinazione si trova sulla sinistra. Our first stop before the two home tours is at Marina di Novaglia to admire the sea while hopefully tasting some local cuisine. So I think we found our spot for lunch. A meal is not a meal in Salento without bread. So for lunch, we have the daily special. This is a, a paccheri pasta with uh, a Genovese sauce with truffle. And this is a burrata cream on top. We cook tomatoes. This looks out of this world good. The truffle taste is always strong. This has tuna in it. And so the combination between truffle and tuna, which are two strong flavors, it packs a punch, but it's really, really good. So from here, this is supposed to be the starting point for an excursion down the cliffs into a grotto along the coast. So let's see if I can find that. Definitely not doing the whole path. The lower Adriatic coast of Salento is wild, rocky, and breathtaking. Whereas the Ionian is full of sandy beaches, this part of the coast is perfect for hiking. The fresh sea air and stunning views of the natural Mediterranean landscape make it an amazing experience. So this behind me, this is the Grotte Cipolliani. And I didn't think I was going to make it, but I'm glad I did. Definitely worth the one kilometer trek. But now it's time to hop in the car and head back towards town. We have our first home tour to do. And guys, it's a really special one. So we've made it to this gorgeous house and I'm really excited to uh, give you guys a look at how special th this place really is. Surrounded by gardens, uh, nature all around, and really a typical Apulian countryside and a stone's throw away from the beaches. So uh, let's go and have a look around. I hope you enjoyed those opening shots to this really elegant villa. We're on the countryside, but really a, a long walk or a, a short bicycle ride away from the main town. This is a 500 square meter villa, very beautiful, and it comes with 6,000 square meters of property, all of it being completely walled around the perimeter. As we enter in, you can notice the detail of the gardens, of the driveway, all of which is beautifully realized. 
Uh, we're going to start the tour by heading around the back into the garden, just so you can have an idea of how the property is. This does come with a garage, and you can see the entry into it down here to the left. So the asking price of the entire property, let's start off with the asking price, is 400000 although, guys, it's a nego negotiable 4000 now, I don't say this often, but I think this is a really spectacular deal, and we're going to see why. Uh, we're going to be heading back to the back of the garden along the wall, along this perimeter. There currently is no pool, although there is authorization uh, and already the plan approved by the Comune to install one if you'd like. As you can see, the, the figs are ripe. The garden is, is full of fig trees olive trees, and other local plant varieties. And I just wanted to bring you to the back here to check out this quaint little garden house built in the local uh, stone here. Very Southern Italian, very Mediterranean. And we'll head into the front. So this is really a prestigious property, and the various elements that it was constructed with recall that typical historical Salento style architecture, which I'm personally in love with. I wanted to head to this other side to show you how it's laid out. You have ample archways going all around the front of the house. And here in the back, they've built this little pagoda uh, resting area, which is really charming, really beautiful. A relaxing spot to get away from the hot sun and a bit of the detail there of the the shutters the shades and the details of the outside of the house you notice there are air conditioning units so we'll have a better look of that inside but just take a look at these stunning star vaulted ceilings these are built in pietra leccese so the typical stone here from the area it's just absolutely beautiful. And from here, we're going to head inside through the main entrance. So as I mentioned before, it's a 500 square meter villa, and that's spread across three floors. You enter in to this ground floor, which is a, an open space a living area with the kitchen and eating area to the right and the uh, living room here to the left. As was expected, everything is beautifully done. You have the stone pietre leccese uh, star vaulted ceilings, as you'd expect from the archways outside. The floors are fully mosaic, and you have a beautiful stone fireplace there in the back. So this is obviously a massive space, very high ceilings. And you have a gorgeous visual, visual of the arches going across it from one end to the next. And we're going to head now to the, the dining area and the kitchen so we can have a better look at that as well. Here you can have a better look at the layout. The kitchen is tucked in the corner in the back. A lot of the houses that we've seen so far have been in historical centers in Puglia, and so obviously the, the spaces in those homes were a lot smaller than the spaces that we have in this massive villa. I really like the layout of the kitchen, how they did it, putting it in this back corner where you're not in the, in the face of you know people who are hanging out in the living area, but everything is still open, very well connected. So we'll turn around, you can have a look all the way down to the other end. And one last glance at this extremely elegant stone ceiling. We're gonna go into the back here now. You have great details on those glass doors. So this home goes up to the first floor and then you have other stairs going down into the basement, which is also a very big space. And we're gonna have a look at that in a bit as well. The bathroom is here to the right. This is the first bathroom. 
that one uh, the first out of three. Very well sized. You do have a washing machine in here at the present. And then they've dedicated one of the rooms to a studio. There are two rooms down here. Both can be bedrooms. And here is the second one. So this is the master bedroom downstairs. You can see in the back there is heating and at the at the walls there's air conditioning. So the house is completely heated. So it's great for the winter and it's great for staying cool in the summer as well with the AC. As to be expected, all of the doors Everything is done in stunning wood and it's finished beautifully. We'll head upstairs now. These are marble stairs and it's olive wood uh, railings on the sides. It's just a better detailed look of how it's laid out. And this is the first floor. There's a door in the back there leading onto the, uh, the rooftop veranda. And this is bedroom number one, another very spacious, very beautiful bedroom. And we'll head in to see now the second upstairs bedroom. This would be the, the fourth room in total, counting that studio downstairs as well. This is, this is the smallest of the bedrooms, but it's still comparatively big to things that we've seen, of course, inside of historical centers. And the main upstairs bathroom. As expected, it's fully equipped with a bathroom, uh, with a bathtub shower, toilet, you have heating, and the bidet here behind the wall where the sink and uh, mirror have been built onto. And we'll take a turn here to go and have a look at the views from the rooftop terrace. Did forget to mention that all windows have shutters. They have uh, mosquito nets as well. The house is very complete. There's very little work that has to be done besides refinishing it to your own desires. Here we have a nice view onto the driveway and the road leading to the garage and a bit of your property there to the back with the palm trees and olive grove. This is a very big space, and so you can obviously furnish it as you like. And in the distance there, you have a view onto the more populated area of Gallano del Capo. All of this is still yours in the front, and you can kind of see the, the walling going around it behind those palm trees. And you even have a view of the sea. But now we're going to teleport inside and go down the stairs. So this is back on the ground floor. And I wanted to bring you down into the basement so you can see the area that we have down here. So the basement too is also a very well thought out space. It, isn't, it is used for storage, but it can be lived in as well, just because of how it is finished and built. You have the garage there to one side. This is the third bathroom of the property, another big one. And it comes with a complete shower, a very spacious one. And this is the garage. So this is the road that we saw leading from the driveway 
going down. This is what it brings into, so the uh, what's currently the garage area. Very big, and you even have uh, windows letting light in. Into the back here, we have La Cantina. So this is a really beautiful space. I really, really loved this. Everything is in stone. You have the arched ceiling. And they even have this rounded arched uh, furnished um, armoire in the back, which I found to be perfect for the space. You have a fireplace here as well. A kitchen in the back. This can be even turned into a sort of second um, living room, dining room, kitchen, just like you had above. You do have a lot less light, but I think the atmosphere of the stone uh, is really charming. And then you have a little functional space here in the back, which is perfect for laundry and the like. So this was house number one on our tour. I think now it's time to go and see house number two. So what we have is a very special property behind me. It's 110 meters squared, built on this incline looking over the Adriatic Sea. The views are absolutely stunning. It's a stunning location. We have a swim, swimming pool, we have gardens all around it, and it's been perfectly renovated and beautifully kept. I think you're really gonna like this. Let's go and have a look. So this is our two-floor villa. It's completely renovated and furnished just a few years ago. And the location is exclusive. It's really what's the most stunning feature about the property. Asking price is 849,000 euros. But let's have a look. So we're on this green hill overlooking the crystalline waters of the Adriatic Sea. Absolutely beautiful. And we have 1,400 square meters of land in this sale as well. And that's built over these various layers going down the hill itself. So you have this, let's say, layer, which is uh, a fruit orchard. So you have fig trees. I think there were also pears, uh, peaches. And going down is a pool, which is the pool of the property. So let's go down there and have a look at that. So I can assure you everything that you see in the video and how beautiful it is, it's five times more jaw-dropping in real life. So this is the swimming pool. And so you have a swimming pool overlooking the Adriatic Sea. Just a really unique uh, view here. And the garden is pristine. Going around the pool, this is still more of your land. The remaining plants are palm trees. You have typical plant life of the Mediterranean as well which was carefully chosen. You have olive trees as well. And you have these stone walls um, constructed, kind of containing each layer going up the hill. Breathtaking. And it's a beautiful sunny day as well, really demonstrating the, the beauty, the Mediterranean beauty of this location. So we'll head up the stairs now and we're going to have a look inside the lower floor of the property. So this is a two floor property. I think I mentioned before, it's about 140 square meters. And each one of the apartments, so it is two floors, but they're connected via 
uh, an external stairway. And they are kind of autonomous units. So if they were ever used for being rented out, you can always rent out one of them, live in the other, or rent out both of them, and they're completely uh, autonomous. There's another beautiful nook in the garden with a, a hammock hanging there from your kind of paradise, your uh, Mediterranean garden paradise. And a bit of the detail of the exterior of the villa. So this is going to be the entrance into the bigger of the two units. I believe this was uh, 90 square meters, 80 or 90 square meters. And it opens up into the living area. So this is the living room, dining room. Naturally, you have lots of light in a property like this. And it's been perfectly built, beautifully renovated, so that it stays very luminous. This is a two-bedroom with the bathroom there in the middle. So we'll go and look, have a look at the main bedroom uh, here. So here you'd be waking up in the morning, opening the doors, and breathing in the fresh uh, sea air from there. We are on the Adriatic coast, so this is the east coast, meaning that you'll be getting the sun rises on this side. On the Ionian side, on the west coast, you'd be getting the sunsets. So this is the bathroom with shower, bidet, toilet, beautifully made in stone. This property was uh, completely renovated just a few years ago, so everything is perfect. It's in pristine conditions. You have heating, you have uh, air conditioning as well, both on the downstairs and upstairs. And so this is bedroom number two. So here you're on the side of the house, so you do get a bit less light, but you do still have a beautiful window uh, looking into your garden as well. And once again, that's still a very spacious bedroom. But we will head back out now because on the other side of this living area, we have the kitchen, which we have to see. It is a very well-sized kitchen, which has a door opening up into the that front terrace there. You have the oven, stove, and sink on this one side. And on this side, you have more space for preparing things. This opens up into this little back closet area, which has room for the uh, refrigerator, for the washing and drying machines as well. And here's that top surface of the back of the kitchen here. Beautiful floors, beautiful tiling. Just an absolute pleasure to come and see a house like this. So here we have one more view of the living room. And we're going to head outside. So here under these arches is a perfect space for having kind of outdoor barbecues, uh, large lunches with family. And that's how it's currently being used. I can imagine a large family event here with hours and hours of chatting, drinking wine, and uh, eating lots of different plates of uh, local food. And that, that would be an, an amazing experience in a location like this. But um, fantasies aside, we'll uh, be going up the stairs so I can show you this second unit. So 
that I mentioned before, they're not connected on the inside, but rather on the outside. So they're two autonomous units. This one also has this beautiful veranda, a very clean look to it with that palm tree in front and just a gorgeous view of that cerulean uh, turquoise Adriatic Sea in front. This pagoda has been built on the one end of it as well. And this is just as, as picturesque as they come. So I did want to give you a quick view from up here before heading on the inside. And this is what you have, just breathtaking. And so this is the second unit, the upstairs rather. And this is around 60 square meters. So this is the smaller of the two. I believe this is a one bedroom unit, whereas the other was two bedroom. So you have the kitchen there in the corner, and this is the, the sitting space. Once again, you have air conditioning, you have heating. It is fully equipped. To the back left is where we have the bathroom. A beautifully renovated bathroom. Once again, with the stone floor, you have the colorful Mediterranean style tilings going around it. And here's just a better look at that sitting space. Once again, very luminous. And we have the bedroom there in the back. This is a very big bedroom. It's more of a suite because you have the bed here in the back, but in the front, you also have a lounging area. And this is quite the lounging area with this beautiful um, transparent, you know, sliding glass doors, just giving you that panoramic view onto the veranda, the palm tree, and the sea there in front. Just a very unique, this is a very exclusive view. Obviously not all properties can have this, and this property is blessed by its location and by the beautiful finishings that were built into it, which really take advantage and accentuate the beautiful features of its location. And you have this little closet space here to cap it all off. Guys, if you haven't yet, check out my Patreon account. I really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment below. What did you like about this episode? Did you enjoy seeing these two houses? Uh, thanks to all my Patreon members for supporting this channel. And I look forward to seeing everybody next time.